Alrighty, today we have a replay from Cool Umbrella and the Phoenix King. This was played in one of our tournaments. The Phoenix King is taking a Swordmaster, Phoenix Guard, and the Sister of Avalorn ROR at the Everqueen's Court Guard build into Greenskins. What a wild time we live in. What a wild time. All right, okay, all right, focus up. Come on, everybody, focus up, God. Ugh, Techless, it's actually been a bit since I've seen Techless really used. Flogganoom, Net of Amatok and his Bound Fiery Convocation. Seems cool, seems legit. Then we have the Heralds of the Wind with three other Illyrian Reaver archers. In the back, two more Illyrian Reavers. And as we mentioned in the loading screen, we do have a Swordmaster of Hoveth, a Phoenix Guard, Everqueen's Court Guard, two Spearmen, and one Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower. Very elite, but also actually somebody else. I think it was Lenorm or Blood Penguin. I don't know. Someone I just fought. Ah! Brought Swordmasters versus Greenskins, and I think I ended up winning the game overall. But the Swordmasters did quite well against my Black Orcs. No, it wasn't one of them. It was a newer player. Damn it! What was his name? Fuck. It was Muffin. I think. I think it was Muffin. Anyway. They're cool. Forest Goblin Spider Riders on the other side. Then we have some Orc Borboy Biggins. A shit ton of Goblins. Squig Herd's backing them up as a cheap armor-piercing option to assist the Goblins. More Forest Goblin Spider Riders. The Broken Tusks mob. Orc Borboy Biggins ROR. In the distance, more Orc Borboy Biggins. Goblin Big Boss, but they need Stab and Giant River Patrol Hag with a Spirit Leech. And a Goblin Great Shaman with Gorkle Fix-It and Sneaky Stabbin. Plus, don't even try it. His uh, Arcane on Forging Bounce Spell. Okay, okay. So the Greenskins with no range whatsoever just want to move in, just want to get into the scrapping. It looks like that's what they're going to do. They're setting up a bit of a flank with the Orc Boar Boys and such. For the High Elves, they have Elite Archers, they have a Bolt Thrower, they have four Skirmish Cav. They want to delay the engagement for as long as possible. Looks like that is what they're going to do. Orc Boar Boy Biggins taking a real punishing from the Sisters of Avalorn. They're just firing out their super cool-ass arrows. Oh no, the boar boys aren't facing the right way. I guess they're not shielded, so it doesn't matter which way they're facing, but still, you never you never like getting shot in the butt. Never. You hate to see it. Alright. Teclas has a Gorkle fix it and a sneaky stab and, and a spirit leech on him, so it is a big snipe attack onto the man himself, but he does have 10% ward save, 20% physical resist at the moment, so it might be a little more difficult to get through to him than you would think. Everqueen's Gork Guard taking a bit of damage from something. Oh, hey, there's the Hammer of Gork. I didn't even notice it was here. Okay, Hammer of Gork is trying to focus him down. Ooh, big flank from the Orc Boar Boy Biggins should be able to take them out. You know, these aren't the best cav at taking out uh, infantry, but still. Any heavy cav rear charge on archers, no matter how elite, is going to be brutal. And ow, that's a three for one. That's a three for one. Fiery Convocation. Routes a goblin, almost routes a squigger, and does a ton of damage to another one. Te Tekla's gonna throw out a quick flock of doom to try and bail himself out as well. But Tekla's putting on his carry pants to push off as many green skins as possible. Terror? I guess Tekla's. Tekla's is gonna somehow tear out the Orc Borbor Biggins from that far away. I thought he would have to be a little closer, but alright. Phoenix Guard coming down to get in the fight. Swordmaster of Hoeth also out here doing the good work. And meanwhile, Spider Riders are kamikaze charging into the Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers trying to take them out. The only thing nearby to help out is Illyrian Reavers, which aren't the best in melee combat, especially with Broken Tusk Mob coming in for a rear charge. Now, Teclis is stuck in a fight still with the River Troll Hag and the Goblin Big Boss, but with Phoenix Guard nearby to help him out. And, uh, oh, okay, those are both debuffs on him. He's still getting debuffed and attacked and stuff, but with Phoenix Guard to help him out, he will be just fine. Broken Tusk Mob get a huge charge in here on all good targets, and soon the Heralds of the Wind, the other Illyrian Reavers, will have significant troubles. Teclis does manage to tear out the Goblin Big Boss. His leadership is just too low for his own good. And huge damage coming in from the Ever Queen's Court Guard onto the giant River Troll Hag. Who overcasted something, it looked like. I don't know. Maybe that was just the explosion of the arrows. But she takes a ton of damage. She is forced off. And the Goblin Great Shaman is also taking a lot of damage. I wonder if the Bolt Thrower has just been on him this entire time. Because he's been avoiding the melee combat. And even then, he's gone down to about one-third-ish HP. Between one-third and half, so like 40%. Broken Tusk Mob is still ro rolling dirty, but they do get netted right in front of the Phoenix Guard and in front of the Upper Queen's Court Guard if they can get the time to stop and shoot at them, but I think Spider Riders will stop that from happening. Still really good play from Teclas, and he's even going to throw a Flock of Doom down on both of these boar units. It's good stuff from Teclas so far. He hasn't gotten as good a value as I would have suspected with that Fiery Convocation, with all the fighting he's been doing, the Flock of Dooms. 
It's a little disappointing there, but the Phoenix Guard should chew through these Broken Test mobs easily. The Spider Riders, as wounded as they are, aren't going to be able to take out the Everqueen's Court Guard, who have 60 melee defense at the moment. Wow. 60. 60 melee defense. Must be because of Martial Prowess, plus 12. Yeah, wow. 60 melee defense would keep them rather healthy. Another Spirit Leech from the River Troll Hag trying to leech Teclis down. Phoenix King does have a little bit of balance of power lead. His sword masters are still going strong. They have 300, not 300, 230 kills. Sorry, I, I got overexcited. Calm down, everybody, calm down. Still, so, they're doing all right. Teclis is helping out. I'm surprised he didn't take regrowth on Teclis, especially if you're bringing Phoenix Guard, Everqueen's Court Guard, and the sword masters, plus Teclis himself. I mean, there's a lot of good regrowth targets. Swordmasters are piling onto the Goblin Big Boss, who gets a little caught up, and a poke from the Everqueen's Court Guard also helping out. He might die here soon, though the Everqueen's Court Guard are doing a bit of friendly fire on the Swordmasters themselves. Tekla slooping back around, but the High Elves, it looks like they have cleared out their back line. They've cleared out the enemy back line, and a lot of the green skin balance of power is just left in uh, the single entities here, which are currently having a tough go. Also, uh, an Illyrian Reaver snuck back and took out the entire Hammer of Gork by itself, so good for you, buddy. Good for you. Teclis helping to chase off some squigs and stuff. I think he's shaving up for uh, some potions of Kroy casts or something. Just doesn't want to get Spirit Leech to death for too much longer. Everything is now routing besides the Goblin Great Shaman on his spider. Bounce power has gone fatally poorly for the Greenskins at this point. And it looks like the Phoenix Guard, Swordmaster, Everqueen's Court Guard build will, will prevail. All right. Phoenix King showing elite units still have a home. For Cool Umbrella, 1,100 on his caster. Borba Biggins didn't have a lot of good targets. They didn't have Silver Helms or Dragon Princes to go after. Um, so they couldn't get a lot of value quickly, and then they got shot. River Troll High got an even 1,000 value. Good for her. Goblin Rock Lava also did quite well. Um, Spider Riders and Squigs struggled to find good targets, as did the Goblins. For the Phoenix King, Teclas, 840 value. Not a lot, but he took a lot of hits for the team and provided buffs and debuffs and stuff. Swordmasters and Phoenix Guard... Got decent value, but they had tons of love left to give. Everqueen's Court Guard are impressive, 2,100. Nice job by Phoenix King, keeping them shooting all game. Alarian Reaver Archers all paid for themselves. Alarian Reavers did okay, and the Bolt Thrower did fine. GG. Rawr! Subscribe, yes, yes.